In this Blender tutorial I will show you how to create a sphere that has been sliced into equal wedges. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. OK, start by removing the cube, so just press X on your keyboard, left click on Delete. Now hold down Shift followed by A, and next to Mesh, left click on Circle. Now you can leave this circle as it is, or you can change the vertices here where it says 32. I'm going to change these, so I'm going to just left click on 32 and type in 64. As I said before, you don't have to do this. It, this will still work, you just won't get quite a smooth sphere. OK. Now I'm going to rotate this uh, circle on its X axis by pressing R, X, then 9, 0, and then left click. Press 1 on your numbers pad, followed by 5 on your numbers pad to go into front orthographic view. Then roll your middle mouse so you get quite a good view of the circle. And press tab on your keyboard to go into edit mode. Just make sure that you can see the vertex, vertex or vertice point that is on the blue Z axis line. What you want to be is you want to be slightly to the left of this and just press A on your keyboard to um, deselect everything, then B, now hold your left mouse button down and draw a box to the left hand side making sure that you don't select these two vertices on the blue Z axis. Once you've done that, press X and then left click on vertices to delete them. Press A to select the remaining vertices. What you need to do now to come to the bottom of the screen and look for the two little dots and this will come up and it will say uh, pivot center for rotation scaling median, median point left click on this and then left click 3D cursor now press E S and then 0 and left click Go into top view by pressing 7 on your numbers pad. Then press A and A again to reselect everything. OK. Once you've done that, to the left of the screen, look for the little button that says spin and left click on this. As you can see, this is span this 90 degrees. Now, Depending on how many slices you want to create, you'll have to calculate um, the number of slices to the angle on 360 degrees. I'm just going to type in 45 on 45 degrees where it says 90. So I'm just left click here and type 45. Okay. Now the next thing you're going to do is duplicate these um, these faces so what I would do is actually take your hand off the off your mouse completely what you're going to do is hold down shift followed by D you're going to hit return then you're going to hold down alt followed by R and again you're going to hit shift D hit return alt R shift D hit return alt R and you can do this until you're finished. Okay. So just recap that's Shift D, hit return, then Alt R. So what you should have now is a sphere. The only thing you might find is that the uh, normals aren't right and it's it's quite dark. Um, so you're going to have to select everything anyway. So just press A and A again to select everything. Then hold down Control followed by N. And that should put the normals back as they should be. OK, now you've got everything selected. Press P on your keyboard and then left click Loose Parts. And press 
tap on your keyboard to go into object mode and I'm just going to go into top view by pressing 7 on my numbers pad just to show you that you should have something that can be sliced up as much as you want as long as though it's within the angle you created obviously if you just want a, a couple of slices leave the rest of these connected um, select them and join them together and that is all there is to it I'm not going to go into anything else other than how to do this um, hopefully this helps someone thank you for watching cheers